Eric here, and I'm doing kind of a special test this week. I want to drive the vehicle as many miles as I can, so I have the climate control turned off, and I am running, you know, just efficiently as I can, so no highway driving, and just driving around town. I'm not driving, like, slow. I'm accelerating pretty quickly, but I'm not doing anything else that would cause a lot of power draw. So I want to see how many total miles I can go driving around town in a commute in ideal weather. So my second day in and I'm still at 91% with 273 remaining. And I've driven 37.5 miles. So at that rate, I can probably get near 400 miles. Group of ships are ours. So a quick update on my range test. I just used 3.7 kilowatt hours which was 16.5 miles and 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. My total trip is 59.7. And let's see what the percentage is. 86%. So on day three, I have 247 miles remaining on the guesso meter. And I have driven 100 miles, an average of 4.4 .4 miles per kilowatt hour. And I'm going to go ahead and open the door and we'll see what percentage it's at. So we're still at 76% at 100 miles. So we're looking like we might make it a little over 400 miles. Another update on my range test here. I'm at 207.3 miles, average of 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. And let's go ahead and see what percentage the battery's at. So we see that I'm at 51%. So I used 10% and it was showing 9.1 kilowatt hours on my recent drive. So it looks like down to 0%. I'm still showing it over 400 miles. So we'll see if I can actually get that far. Um, the Kessel meter has been constant has been going down relatively slow because I've been getting better than expected range. So we'll see. I probably won't have time to actually drive at 400 miles, so I might have to just go based on percentage of what I end up do driving. So with another drive today, I was able to get it up to 300 miles and averaging 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. And let's go ahead and see what uh, percentage of the battery is at. We are at 29% still, so it'll be more than 400 miles. Um, we'll see how, I'm gonna drive it tomorrow. It says I can get another 117, so that would be 417 miles. But that's not going down one to one either, so. Uh, we'll see. It's a lot of miles driving this way, you know, again, no climate control, kind of, you know, s slowish. There's not a I accelerate briskly, but nothing, not a lot of accelerations. So that concludes my range test on the Blazer EV. Being driven solely around town at sub 45, 50 mile per hour speeds for the most part, once or twice I went up to 55, but not for a very long distance. So, um, 411.7 on my trip with 12 left on the display there. So I'll count that as, say, 424 miles, um, plus or minus a few miles, given that I didn't drive it too empty completely. So, um, with that, that's pretty good. I'm going to throw it on the charger now and charge up to a hundred percent. And that will, uh, let me know how many kilowatt hours the battery holds. If you want to disable the charging lights, which I've had the neighbors ask me what was going on in my garage because the lights are just running all night. You know, it's not going to be done charging until 7:30 in the morning. So literally all night. Um, if you go into charging and then I need to remember which one it was, it was notifications and you have headlight charge indicator so you can turn that off you can see what it does here 
went on, your headlights will show the status of your charge. So turn that to off. And like this might be great if you park on the street and charge at night or something where the lights are going to get really annoying because they're really bright. So uh, if you charge a lot at night, that's a good one to turn off. It's kind of neat when you're out and about. I wish they had an option to maybe set it to not do on AC charging, but do it on DC charging or something. But you can turn it on and off or just leave it off after you get tired of the gimmick. So for my final numbers, 93.45 kilowatt hours from the plug to charge 97%. If you figure about 7% loss from the charging, that would end the fact that there was 3% left in the battery. That puts the usable kilowatt hours right about 90, 90 kilowatt hours. So that's a little more than the advertised 85 kilowatt hours. But there's several things that can play into that. Like that rating is based on a certain current draw. So, you know, driving higher speeds on the highway, you may not get as much as driving these slower speeds around town. And also, they might just underrate it just a little bit. And overall, though, both the mechanism of checking it from the amount of power drawn from the plug and also checking it from the percentage left and the estimated range left at uh, the certain kilowatt hour draw, miles per kilowatt hour draw, would indicate that the battery is about 90, capacity, 90 kilowatt hour capacity if you calculate it either way. So I'm guessing it's pretty close to 90 instead of the advertised 85. And overall, that's how you drive to get 400 plus miles on your Blazer EV all-wheel drive.